champion square off next in your headline super fight of the evening. Kevin Van Nostrand and Sergei Adamchuk. Keep your eyes open and don't blink. There's no one that's gonna stop me. This is your headline super fight of the evening. Three rounds in the featherweight division of glory. Both arrive in Florida off a successful outing. Both have worn the glory belt and both desperately want a shot at getting a world title back. This bout sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission in cooperation with the ISKA and at the bell, your referee is Wayne Spinola. From Orlando, Florida to Osaka, Japan, Glory fans are watching in 180 countries around the world. It's time for Glory! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a WKA USN World Muay Thai champion. His professional record, 18 wins with three losses, 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 142.6 pounds, 64.7 kilograms. Fighting out of Syracuse, New York, he is the former interim featherweight champion of the world. He is Kevin Van Nostrand. Here now is his opponent, standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner. He burst onto the glory stage, winning his first five in two separate divisions. As a professional, 38 wins with 10 losses, 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet eight and one half inches, 1.74 meters, and he weighed in at 142.2 pounds, 64.5 kilograms. He fights out of the Ukraine and is the former 
former featherweight champion of the world, the number one contender in the division. Here is Sergei Adamchuk. At the bell, your referee is Wayne Spinola. Okay, gentlemen. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Any questions, gentlemen? No. If you want to now, touch gloves. Step back. I'll get you guys started. This could be one of the best fights of the year, or could be a snoozer, Joe. These, the way these two guys fight, we'll have to see how these styles mesh up. Yep, especially when, you know, Van Nostrand blitzes. Adam Chuck doesn't sir? move back. You're going to get a lot of clinching. Here we go. The number one contender position could be on the line. Van Ostrand in the black gloves, Adam Chuk in the white. You see both southpaws. You see Adam Chuk changing levels with his hands. Oh, nice knee. That was possibly a knockdown, but the referee says no. Well, it was hard to see at the ropes covering, but they're both coming with some good offensive attacking. The unpredictability of Van Ostrand and the technical precision of Adam Chuk on display here tonight. You can see the way Van Ostrand fights, his different stances, you know, moving in, out, jumps in with his knees. Adam Chuk looking to power punch. A little back fist. He loves that punch. Yep, what a, amazing with it, too. Usually with his jab hand. There's another knee. He'll work those knees to the Stop body as right, often please. as he can. Fight. I talked about the fitness and strength of Vander Strand. Said he'd never lifted weights ever in a fight camp, but for this one, he did. And he Stop said, I'm right, stronger please. than I've ever been. Yeah, when you asked Fight. him, he gave you a nice little flex. Yeah. It's confident. Stop, stop, stop. His muscles are almost as big as yours, Joe. Yeah. I'm a light heavyweight now, so <laughs> I hope they're bigger. Adam Chuck really wanted to use his power punches, and one of my keys for him was to use his counters versus that blitz style. Adam Chuck attacking the body. Boy, a lot of movement. They're all over this ring. Both men in phenomenal physical condition. Adam Chuk always in peak shape. All he does, wake up and train. Close round as we expected, Joe. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen Adam Chuk use his kicks much. Watch the hold, guys. Fight! And according to our, our fight stats, he's only thrown one kick. And especially since Vanishan moves a lot, that's when you want to attack the legs. Fight! Ten seconds! There's those lunging knees that are hard to defend. Sergei Adamchuk out of the Ukraine. Has been training under Mike Passanier right there on the left of your screen for years. Calls him his father figure. Has won three of his last four, including a contender tournament in France. After fighting, he wants to be a lawyer. But the jury is still out on when that will be. His opponent, Kevin Van Nostrand, Right now, ranked number five in the featherweight division. He was our former interim featherweight champion. As we keep mentioning, his fighting style, unorthodox, unpredictable. And he keeps talking and mixing in that spinning back fist. Adam Chuck is really intelligent fighter, so it might be a little bit more difficult to land. But to me, it was a, a great first round for, for Kevin Van Ostrand. There's his crew, including in there somewhere, his new five-month-old daughter, Aliyah, his three his 11-year-old daughter, Avea, and seven-year-old daughter, Anaya. All three giving it to the American. Round one, and again with those knees, trying to just set up that spinning back fist. 
Yeah, but you see Adam Chuck with a nice high guard. The smart thing to do when you fight Kevin. And Joe looking at the stats, only one kick thrown so far, or landed so far for Adam Chuck. Yeah, and Adam Chuck has really good hard power low kicks, so I'm surprised he's not using them as much. And those knees have somehow neutralized Adam Chuck to a certain extent. I think we're having an official one in here. It's the second one of the country. Third, you do that again, I'm gonna take points. You understand that? I don't want to be involved with this. You win or lose on your own yeah. accord. You understand that? Yeah. Don't do it again. Stay right there. I like those instructions. I don't yeah. want to be involved in this. Call we'll take points next time, right? Don't Is retaliate, it? okay? Here we go, my time. Fight. And there are times where they're fighting out of the clinch well. But the strategy to that wild, unpredictable style is to, to kind of tie him up. Well, Joey, it's, to me, it's been pretty predictable. Ben Ostrand's going to come right at you with knees. Yep. So that's where Adam Chuk can kind of use his angles. He's trying. See, to me, correct me if I'm wrong, oh, there's a straight left hand for Adam Chuk. I was going to say, he seems like he doesn't really have a game plan right now. No, he's just kind of moving back, trying to land his power punches, but, you know, the lead leg's right there for him to throw his low kicks. We're not seeing the, the, the striking diversity that we're used to from Adam Chuck. Another knee to the body. Look at those kicks, Joe. 11 to 1. And it's very similar with the knees as well. You know, Kevin Valenstrand's dominating with the knees. I don't know if he can keep this energy level up the whole fight, but right now he's like a 4th of July firecracker. Yeah, he can keep coming. I said his key is that high output. I mean, it's very hard for, for anyone to match that pace that Kevin can bring. Nice job at Kevin Van Ostrom fighting out, out of the clinch. And Joe, some people would look and say, oh, those knees are hitting the body, that's great. But they don't just hit the body, they affect your entire game, do they not? Yeah, you I mean, even if they hit your forearms and they get in there, they could wind you a lot. And it closes the distance safely and effectively. There's those spin attacks from Kevin Van Ostrom. Adam Chuck trying his version of a spinning back fist. They both put opponents on the deck with that very move. I think Vanderstrand's knees are going to hurt after this fight, having hit Adam Chuk so many times to the head and body. Yeah, I mean, I think the worst thing when you throw a knee is if you catch the elbow. Right now, Kevin Vanderstrand has thrown 34 knees, landing 20 of them. And yeah, he's almost thrown, you know, double the strikes, too. see what Adam Chuck could do out of this round. For me, he's got to really mix up his strikes. And looking at the fight metric stats, he's only thrown two no, knees and one kick. He's got to do something more. 32 knees and kicks have landed for Van Ostrand, just three for the Ukrainian. And the problem is now, even though he starts kicking, there's one from him there. Maybe he can surprise Kevin Van Ostrom, but going to the leg now might be a little bit more difficult. He should have invested earlier in them. All three judges in agreement that Van Ostrom win has won the first two rounds. Does Van Ostrom change anything here, Joe? No, but I like what he's doing. He stays busy. He kicks, he moves, keeps his distance. Time, then when he time, finds time, the right time. moment, he comes in. But... Right there. Right there. My time. And that was a low blow, and as Van Ostrand was going to the ground, it looked like Adam, Adam Chuk threw a punch. Right there, right there, just, so, yeah, just stay right there, okay? You seem to be having a lot of low blows tonight. 
Okay. Oh, it looked like the heel from the front kick hit the cup. Okay. Now watch this punch here from, if we Coach. let it keep rolling, Coach. watch the punch here. Coach. Boom. Yeah. I guess, I mean, in Adam Chuck's defense, maybe he thought the, you know, the front kick hurt him to the body. Yeah. You know, sir, hey, Adam Chuck is a, is a great sport, so you know it wasn't intentional. No coaching, please. All right, guys, no coaching. Just fix the cup. Is it good? Is it yeah. good, champ? All right, now okay. look at that, champ. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you take your time. You take your time. Stay right here. Hey, stop. Stop. Amir Abdallah, the eccentric coach in the corner of Van Ostrand, okay. looked at Adam Chuck and said, hey, ready, man, guys? what are you doing? Time in. He's all smiles, though. It's been great for Van Ostrand up until that point. But Adam Chuck's going to throw everything at the American down the stretch. Yep, that's the urgency now. He's really blasting those punches. There's the counter work. Come in and bang. Stop. Break clean. Break clean. Fight. Nice calf kick there from Van Ostrand. Yeah, he came in with a nice deep shin. Those are the ones that hurt. The ones you don't hear hurt more than the slaps. Stop. Another knee right to the rib cage. So much redness all over the body of Adam Chuk. Vanistrand has dominated this contest. Stop, 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 stop. Back up. Back up. Stop. Minute and a half to go here. What can Adam Chuk pull out? He does have 14 knockouts in his 38 wins. And yeah, the key for him there, he's got to. He can't let Van Ostrand break so easily. He needs to throw out of his break. Don't flinch, don't flinch. Well, that's, that's what Adam Chuck needs to do there. Stop! Very clean. Fight! Swing and a miss for Adam Chuck. Minute to go. This will be one of the biggest wins of Van Ostrand's career to knock off the number one ranked featherweight in the world. Right, Kevin Van Ostrand is more motivated than ever to get back to those world title shots. Former Glory Interim Featherweight Champion. He won the, that championship at Glory 48 New York in his home state. Rumors are we could be headed back to the Big Apple again later this year. Wouldn't he love a title shot again there? Adam Chuck swings and misses twice again. Break clean. Fight. 20 seconds to go. Adam Chuck tries a rolling thunder. No, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. 10, Ten seconds, seconds to go. Fight. Adam Chuck just trying anything hey. now. Too little, too late. Kevin Van Ostrand with one of his best performances in glory. Yeah, you would kind of think so based on how experienced Sergei Adamchuk is and the way he stayed busy and set up his shots. He looked great. Of course, he'd prefer a knockout, but you simply do not beat Adamchuk by KO. It does not happen. In fact, he has never been knocked out in his 16 glory fights. The decision when we return to Florida.
We welcome you back to Orlando, Florida, as we look at our highlights from our featured fight here on the Glory Super Fight Series. And it was a good dominant performance for Kevin Van Ostrand, who did a good job at mixing his strikes, landed some great knees, mixing his strikes really well, where Adam Chook really came in with a game plan and really wanted to use his boxing, try to use his counters with his hands, but Van Ostrand did a good job at staying out. And as, you know, Adam Chook came in, he had some good knees waiting. And there's the family right there hooting and hollering for Kevin Van Ostrand, who appears to have picked up his 19th career win. Let's look at our strike totals. And it was all kicks and knees from Van Ostrand. Adam Chuck tried to get the job done with punches, but simply didn't have enough. 46 of 116 for Adam Chuck. And it was the body and legs attack of Van Ostrand that has left Adam Chuck with red marks all over his body. The official decision now on Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are their totals. They score this bout 29, 28. The two remaining judges score it 30, 27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, Kevin Van Nostrand. All right, I'm here with your winner, Kevin Van Nostrand. Man, you just beat the number one ranked fighter. How are we feeling right now? Oh, it feels really good. I feel really, really good. Yeah. What did you think of your performance tonight? I definitely could have done better. Felt a little slow, but I seemed to put things together and come out on top. Well, Adam Chook came out really boxing heavy focus. Was that kind of the fight you expected from him? No, I, I expected uh, counters. Anything I threw, he had a counter. And anything he threw, I had a counter for that. So I was hoping he was going to strike more so I could counter, but I still won. Well, I mean, you just beat number one. It's no surprise what you want next. Let us hear it. Oh, yeah. Anvar, Petch, whoever wins, I want you next. Well, you have a big crew here celebrating the 4th of July. Well, what's your message for the, your, your crew down here? You have your kids. You got to be excited, man. Yeah, I just want to shout out to my sponsor, uh, Better Home and Gardens. Thank you very much for supporting me. And family, thank you for coming to show them. Syracuse, United States. I'm coming for that belt. I love everyone behind my back. I'm going to be the first United States champion ever for glory. That's, man, I, that's my dream come true. All right, let's hear it, everybody, for the U.S. fighter here. Let's go, Kevin Van Ostrand. There has never been a full male world champion in glory in the female division, super bantamweight Tiffany Van Seuss. But he's right. There's never been an American male champion, and he could get his shot next. Who knows? We'll see later tonight who will be the featherweight champion. It's Petsch Panamarong taking on Anbar Boy Nazarov. But a great night of fights here on our Glory Super Fight Series card, including that performance by Kevin Van Ostrand, who didn't get the knockout that he wanted. But again, no one's ever knocked Adam Chook out. No one's really even come close. He's just so technically sound. But tonight, Adam Chook did 